Ladies and gentlemen, welcome along to Great Eccleston, the home of tractor pulling right here in the northwest of England. And also it is playing host to this year's Mitis Agri Euro Challenge tractor pulling event. So why are we here? Well, pretty simple really. We just want to get stuck in behind the scenes, find out what's what and what this world's most powerful motorsport is all about. So to do that, what we're going to do we are going to, firstly, we're going to chat to all the people that make this event actually happen. So we're going to chat to the track preparation team. How do you actually even prepare a track like this? We're going to be chatting to, when it turns up, we're going to be chatting to the sledge crew, find out how that works. We're going to be chatting to the flag guys, sort of how they sort of control what happens on track, that kind of thing. Uh, we're going to have a chat to the measuring tower, talk about lasers and measuring, all sorts of things like that. So we've got loads going on. And then once we've done all that, we're going to have a chat to a lot of the teams. We're going to get stuck into the pit. It's fairly quiet over there at the moment, but that's going to fill up with Arctics and tractor pullers over the next three days. So we're going to get stuck into them, have a chat with them, find out is it cause for tears or is it cause for beers? But I say we'll find all that out. Also, massive thank you to these guys as well to uh, Nittus Agri for sponsoring our coverage of this weekend's uh, track pulling event. We're going to be chatting to them guys later on, they're just over there somewhere. Find out about, well, pulling tires, what are they all about? So that's going to be good as well. Like I say, all that coming up, we're probably going to split this up into two or three videos, depending on what we find. It could get, yeah, it's going to get interesting, put it that way. But for now, sit back, enjoy, grab a brew, grab a beer, whatever lights your candle, and we'll crack on. In a nutshell, what is track pulling? Well, I always say when people ask me, it's a bit like drag racing, but instead of how fast you can go, it's how far you can go. There seems to be lots of different classes, all sorts of shapes and sizes. Oh, there's, there's, yeah, there's as many classes as you want to make a tractor to suit, really. Yeah. What makes the ideal track for tractor pulling? The right consistency between the amount of clay you've got in it, the amount of sand that you put in it and the amount of water that's in it. Well, I'm chairman of the BTPA, not that that means that much. I only try and keep people in order on that side of it. But on the track side, I'm head track marshal, I'm on the start line. Graham, I mean, kind of over to you, really. I mean, obviously, yeah. the sledge is it's probably one of the most important parts of this weekend. It's the bit that's going to try and stop them. So, how does it do that? So, tell us what goes on up here. Stress. Stress, that's stress, what happens. Stress, stress. Yeah. I can imagine, because it's literally just down to you to, you know, you kind of have the final word. So, just tell us about Mitas' involvement in tractor pulling. How, how did that start? Well, it was, it was a bit of a low key event, actually. About six years ago, uh, Mitas Ram got involved with the ETPC. I know you've seen one or two of the, the, the tractors, the classes and bits and bobs on yeah. here, but probably we're one of the classes closest to production tractors, if you know yeah. what I mean. So we call Pro Stock, so yeah. production stock. 